Hi, welcome to Linda's Take on Office. Today we are going to be looking at Word, Module 7, SAM Project 1B. It's in the Shelley Cashman, and I've already downloaded my instructions from Cengage as well as my, st my starter file. So let's get going on our project steps. The first thing that we're asked to do is to save our file by changing the 1 to a 2. And now we are ready for step 1. We want to convert the text in the money on the top of the page to word art. So I'm going to highlight in the money. I'm going to come up to the insert tab. And over here, I have my text icons. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to resize my screen to maximize my word on my desktop so I can see everything on my ribbon here. And right here is word art. And the word art that I want to select is the fill green accent color four soft bevel. So I'm going to select that to change the color and the look of my text. Now I'm going to change the shape of my word art. So up here we have our shape format tab and I'm going to change the text wrapping to top and bottom. So come over here to wrap text and then scroll down to top and bottom to change how your text is wrapping around your shape. I want to resize my word art to a height of 0.8. So over here I have my height, change that to 0.8 and I want my width to be seven inches. I want to change the font, font to Verdana. So up here on the Home tab, I'm going to come over here to my font, change it to Verdana or Verdana, and then I'm going to change my font size right here to 42. Now I want to change the color of my text. So I'm going to come back over here to my Shape Format tab, and I have my text fill. Now don't be confused between the shape fill and the text fill. The shape fill affects only your shape. The text fill only changes the text within your shape. So we're asked to change our text fill color. So I'm going to select this. We want it to be a gradient color. So we're going to come down here to gradient. Then I'm going to scroll down to the bottom to more gradients. Over here in my navigation pane on the right, choose Gradient Fill, and here are some preset gradients. So we're going to select that box, and we're going to scroll down until we find Bottom Spotlight Accent 4, and select that fill. Then we're going to close this navigation pane, and now we want to change the text effect so right here we have our word art styles, we have our text effects. Again, don't be confused with shape effects. It's really easy to fall into that error. So we want to change our text effects. We're going to come down here to transform and then we're going to come over here and find the warp down text effect and select that. So we've changed our title using some word art, and now we are ready to start changing our body of our newsletter. So we want to add a continuous break at the beginning of our first body paragraph. So right here by the A, and A budget is a tool, but put your insertion point there. Then we're going to come up to the layout tab, and right here we have our breaks options. We're going to come down here and select Continuous. This is letting Word know that this is a new section in our document. Now we want that section to be set into columns. So now we're going to come back up here to the Columns option. We're going to come down here to More Columns. We want it to be three columns. 
but we want to change the column width to 2.2 and say OK. So now we have everything set into three columns. We want to add a professional typeface element. We want to add a drop cap. So we're going to select this A right here in our very first paragraph and come up to the Insert tab. And over here next to Word Art, we have Drop Cap. So select that option. We want the dropped Drop Cap effect. I'm going to select that A again because we want to change the color. So up here on our Home tab, choose our font color. And we want to change that color to Lime Accent 3 so that it stands out in our document. Here in our second column, we have some smart art, and you'll notice that we're missing a picture in our smart art, so we want to update that picture. So we're going to select this picture icon. We're going to find a picture from a file, and you're going to go to your downloads on your computer because this is where you downloaded that progress picture from Cengage at the very beginning. It's one of the support documents. We're going to insert and there's our new picture. So now we want to do make some changes to the text box. So we're going to come over here on the second page and select the text box. I'm going to click in there so you have the, the information that's in there highlighted. We're not going to type anything in though. We are going to insert text from a file. So we're going to come up here to the Insert tab scroll over here to the object option and choose text from file going to go to your downloads folder again on your computer and find the support budget file you should have downloaded that with your support documents from Cengage and say insert don't worry about your text box moving over here to the first page. We're going to be making some changes to put it exactly where we want. The first thing we want to do is resize our text box. So up here in our Shape Format tab, I'm going to come over here to the Height, and our Height, we want it to be 1.9, and our Width, we want to be 2.1, and we have an exact spot where we want this text box to be. So we're going to come over here to Position and scroll down to the More Layout Options because we're going to tell it specifically the horizontal absolute position we want to set at 4.9 and the vertical absolute position we want to change to 3.7. So we want our absolute position 4.9 to the right of margin. Our vertical absolute position is 3.7 below margin. We're going to say OK. Now here in our document we have this for automate your savings. We want this to actually be at the top of our third column. So to do that we're going to enter a column break. So no matter if we enter in more text in column 2, that 4 is going to always stay there at the top of column 3. So I put my insertion point in front of the 4. I'm going to come up here to the Layout tab. And here in my Breaks, I'm going to choose a Column Break. And it's going to move that 4 up to the top of column 3. And you'll notice it also moves our 5, Adjust the Budget, below our text box. In step 10, what we're going to do is we're going to make some changes to that company logo. So right down here at the bottom, we're going to select our logo. And the first thing we're going to do is crop that purple rectangle out of the picture. So with our picture selected, come up here to the Picture Format tab. Come over here to our Crop option. And we are going to move this to change it to get rid of that purple rectangle. And then we're going to select Crop again. You can see that purple rectangle is gone. 
The next thing we want to do is we want our text to read from the left to the right. So we're going to come over here to rotate, and we're going to rotate right 90 degrees. So now our text reads correctly in our logo. We want to position our picture at the bottom center with square text wrapping. Now this is a preset position in Word. So if you select the position object icon and scroll down here, the middle, the middle one in the bottom row is position in bottom center with square text wrapping. Now right here we have our anchor, which is anchoring our selected object right here with the text. Now we want to move this anchor so that it's actually at the beginning of the paragraph records your income. So to do that, it's real easy. We're just going to select that anchor right here, and we're just going to drag our icon right up here by the R. And now we've anchored our picture here with our track your progress so it's not going to be moving around here's what your final document should look like we're ready to save this document we're going to close this document come back to Cengage and we are going to submit it here for grading and we're going to do the graded summary report and let's see how we did And we got 100 out of 100. If your score is less than that, you can look through here. If it's in red text, then that's what you need to change. Hopefully your score was also 100 out of 100. I hope you've learned some new things working with me in Linda's Take on Office in completing Word Module 7, Project 1B. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel to be notified when new videos are posted on my channel. I'd also ask that you like my video if you like what you see. Thank you for spending some time with me today, and I hope wherever you are, the sun has been shining. Have a great day, and I'll see you with the next video. Bye.